Hi, Jonathan McLean. I work for a company called Loop, and today I'm going to show you how to best set up your first Automation Studio project. So at Loop, we do a lot of applications that require very precise timing, things like coordinating uh, high-speed I.O., or uh, advanced motion control. And all of those things need to be synchronized uh, across uh, one common clock. So today I'm going to show you how to set that up in Automation Studio such that your PLC will synchronize with a common clock. So here in Automation Studio, I'm just gonna start from scratch here and create a new project. And I'm gonna create a new configuration, new, a new hardware configuration. Let's pick one of my favorite targets. That would be the Compact S. X20CP 0483. So here's our Automation Studio project. So now I'm going to navigate to the physical view and I'm going to open up the configuration for our PLC. And now I'm going to go into modify a couple of options. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to get rid of this CPU timer. So instead of using its own clock, I want to use the clock for PowerLink so we can synchronize with motion and IO. So here I'm able to choose our PowerLink interface here. And now that gives me a, a multiple for my system tick of one power link cycle, which is configurable, but in this case, we'll leave it at two milliseconds. Next, you want to set up your cyclic one task class. This task class executes all of the most time critical operations right here. So now I want to set this to one power link cycle. So we just left that at two milliseconds for now and we want to make a tolerance of zero. So if anything running in this task class takes longer than two milliseconds to execute, we will get a violation. And finally, we want to max out the stack for this task class at 65535 bytes to make sure we have enough memory dedicated for all of our most critical tasks. Please check out shipin6.team for more information.